Thank you for joining us for another Safety First Firearms and Defense gun tutorial. Today we'll be discussing the Glock 43X Sump Compact Pistol. Before we do any handling of our firearms, we always want to make sure that they are unloaded and safe. We're going to begin by examining the magwell. Next, we're going to examine the chamber. Now that we know it's unloaded, we can begin our disassembly. We'll begin by simultaneously engaging the two tabs on either side of the frame by pulling them down, which will disengage the slide lock. While holding those down, we'll release the slide and then squeeze the trigger. This will allow the slide to come free from the frame. For our basic field strip, this is as far as we will break down the frame, so we'll just set that part aside. We'll begin on the slide assembly. First step will be to remove the recoil spring or recoil spring guide. We'll take that part out and set that aside. Then we're going to lift up and out on the barrel and set that aside as well. To reassemble, we'll do those same steps in the reverse. We'll start with the barrel, inserting that into the bottom hole on the slide, pushing forward and then locking it back into place. Then we'll insert the recoil spring and recoil spring guide into the top slot, top slot and make sure it's properly seated on the barrel. The grooves in the back of the slide will line up with the rails on the frame. We'll slide the slide back onto the frame, pulling it all the way back, locking it back into place. Now that it's reassembled, we're going to do a function check. So I'm going to rack the slide a minimum of three times. And I'm also going to squeeze the trigger to make sure that the trigger is properly engaging. And that's it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this content, check out some of our other videos on our channel and be sure to like, share, follow, and subscribe. For information on our upcoming in-person and virtual trainings, check out our Facebook page, which can be found in the video description below. And as always, remember to keep safety first.